Hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna talk about some areas in my kitchen that need some tweaking. So one of those areas is my spice cabinet. So I've got this nice spice cabinet solution where I can see both sides of this centerpiece and then that's some storage in the back. Um, it is not very pretty to look at and um, my guess is I have some expired items in there. So as I go through, um, step two of my process is to pull everything out and assess. So as I go through, I'm gonna check the expiration date. This would be a great tip anytime you're organizing a food or medicine cabinet type space. Um, if it's expired, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away. Other than that, I'm gonna start grouping it into like categories. Okay, come along with me. I'm making some progress on my spice cabinet. Um, I did find probably 10 items that were expired that I've thrown away, uh, but the rest of it, I need to find container solutions for now. So we're on to step four. Uh, for my packets, I'm actually gonna use these um, little bins that I reviewed uh, last week, I think it was. Uh, so I've got some nice size bins here that will fit my packets. So I've got, oops, this way. My couple bins of packets. Um, I also have some of these ramen noodle flavorings that I've got some recipes that just call for the noodles without the flavoring. Uh, so I actually keep those on hand. Sometimes I use them for recipes that call for beef, beef broth or chicken broth. So I'm gonna use again, those little containers that uh, I reviewed um, recently and I'll put a link to that review and these containers in the comments. Now for my spices, I have a lot of different spices in a lot of different containers. I'll just give you a, a feel for all the different types of containers we've got here. And I am actually going to use some spice jars and convert my existing containers over to matching containers. So the matching containers will just make it a little nicer visually to keep track of. Now I have been looking at these for a while um, and found this set that I felt was pretty cost effective. It was $26 and it comes with, see here, 25 jars. And the other thing that it comes with that I'm interested in is uh, already created labels for both the lid of the jar and labels for the sides of the jars. Now, what I couldn't find when I ordered was exactly what the different label options were in terms of spice names. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line up all my spices here and see if I have a label per spice. So if I don't, I might end up using my label maker instead of the included spice labels. So we'll see, come along. Okay, so I've alphabetized my spices only to compare them to the list of labels that they provided. And overall, uh, everything showed up on the list with the exception of my everything bagel seasoning and red cayenne pepper, which just one really surprises me. Um, what I did notice is that they do have some blank labels with the same style. So I think I am gonna go ahead and use their labels and then I'll just use my label maker to insert the name on their blank ones. That way we're consistent um, and I can take advantage of their, of their nice labels. Now I will show you just so that you can see some of the options they have here. And actually this is gonna be kind of hard to see. So here's an example of um, the jar labels. They also have these white on clear uh, and that's, that's not really coming through very well but that's okay. Um, they have a white and clear option. They have, for the top lids, they have a black with white print label. And then for the, oh, and actually, if I look at this, um, okay, never mind. I guess this would have been easier for me to check off next to, this is all their spices on one sheet. So. 
Would have been kind of nice if they had that on uh, Amazon when I bought it, but that's okay. It looks like this set's gonna work out. So now I'm gonna take some time and convert my current containers over to the new ones. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so let's see how it turned out. I think this just looks so beautiful and organized and nice and neat. So I did have a label for everything except my everything bagel seasoning down here in the right hand corner. Um, I did realize my label maker was out of black print with clear background. So I'm going to get that ordered and I'll get that labeled. The other thing I did um, for I always have some extra spices or some containers were really big. They didn't all fit in the jar. I just added them into that basket at the top so that we didn't have to look at them. So it looks so pretty. Um, and when you're organizing, make sure your pretty stuff is the first thing you see. It'll help you stay organized and motivated. On the back side here, I've got the items that I use regularly. So my beef and chicken bouillon, some seasoning, toothpicks, and some baking items. Now I did have two extra jars, which works out perfect. As I was reading the labels, I realized I'm short on a couple of things. So I just put them there to save. And then these are the other items that I use regularly. So really turned out nice. I'm super happy with it. If you like it too, let me know.